Hello everybody and welcome to a new EU4 series. Um, no multiplayer this time, I know, that's rare. Um, but it's Sean here and I'm going to start uh, maybe doing a solo series in my free time where I'm going to just be going after the uh, whatever the bottom achievement is in my achievements list in Europa. That's kind of like how I like to play this game is by going over achievements, so... Our bottom one is Hanukkah Mutapa, starting as Mutapa, convert to Judaism, and celebrate a festival, which I'm going to try to do. So we're going to play as Mutapa and just kind of dive right in. Uh, let's make a save here. We'll just call it Hanukkah Mutapa. Maybe Hanukkah was spelled right there. Maybe it's two Ks. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, let's take a look. I have not done any testing for this. We start as fetishist. That's all right. All of the areas we want to expand to are Sunni, other than I guess the Congo, and Makua, Maravai, Lundu, and Tumbuku. We start with Buta, Butua. Now I didn't check this. Where is it? Do we have to stay as Mutapa? That's the question. Or can I form Zulu starting as Mutapa? Okay. So I can form nations, meaning I can form Zulu, which you can normally do after annexing your vassal here. Let's take a look. Vision quest. Yearly prestige at the cost of stability. We'll pass that for now. That's something we really want. In fact, I might buy up Stab for this alone. What's our situation here? Need 100. Looking at our estates. Okay, just the standard stuff. We'll probably pursue... Ooh, I haven't seen these. Flexible cult enables a decision that allows you to change your cult every 20 years at the cost of 25 legitimacy. Enable you to have a primary cult, which increases the strength of the cult and removes lost ability upon the death of a monarch. But disables using other cults. Primary cults can be swapped every 50 years. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Heirs can choose a weaker version of the cult. When did these mechanics get added? These seem awesome. I've just never used these. Expansionary Zealot. Zealotry, Oversight by Clergy, Religious States. Now I have to check all of these to see. Okay, that's just flavor text. Neighbors Raid, Manpower's Utopia gains 0 0.1 years of manpower for occupying a hostile fort. He, this could be insane when you have a high manpower pool. 0 0.1 years, that's like little over a month worth of manpower five years per fort and so if we go full siege ability that could be kind of crazy free enterprise monetary policy nothing too cool for the burgers or the merchants guilds as we will call them let's look at our missions doing the standard don't actually advance when you start a u4 and look at all the stuff Let's see. Own Kor Butua. Handle the Torwa. The Torwa dynasty is a relic of the old Zimbabwe Empire. Loyalty to the king is questionable. It's time to integrate them into our state. Get a mercenary unit and we get Diplo points. Don't care. I don't use mercs. Increase our stability. Have five temples. Grand the estate. Embrace singular cult. Interesting. That's a free to stability. Strong rulership. As an acted sacred kingdom, legitimacy is at least 100, is employing skill to advisors, and we get possible advisors and cost advisors with ruler culture for 25 years. That's cool. Control Southern Africa, we get some cool bonuses. Great Power of Africa, 25 power projection. That is permanent and 100 prestige. Okay, this is all kind of 
auxiliary stuff that we don't necessarily have to beeline. Stability cost one. The Russian of Zimbabwe is fired, so we have a disaster. Sounds like it. Constructing non-defensive buildings will increase development of the province. Destroying buildings which were constructed while well, active as effective as active will, however, remove development. How long is this active? This is actually sick. This is for the entire game. You can just turn money into dev points, which is awesome. How does it determine... Oh, I bet you, I bet you, okay, okay. Looking, I was wondering how it determines what type of dev to get, but I assume if you build, like, a barracks, you'll get military. If you build a church, you'll get admin. If you build a workshop, you'll get production. That makes sense. Like, same with the trade depot, but also get production. Uh, owns Lunda in Kolonga. This also gives us claims, so we're going to want to have to... We are going to spend our point on going up and stab. Uh, okay, Conquistador to discover. Uncover the south. This gives us a colony in Cape. Yes, we will save that. Um, what is this one? Three gold provinces of Dev 10. You get a lot of gold. Naval Merchant Guild Privilege Controlled Goth Mining. So, okay, so we cool the cool thing here. Um, have a bunch of loyalty, loyal states. Or loyal nobility. Gives you monarch points. Army professionalism with a good military advisor for decent modifier, but not permanent, sadly. Matawa and Natal need to have some manpower, and we need to be tech 15, and we get some militarization, and then we learn from the Naguni. One of the following must be true. Four provinces need to be Nguni with a with manpower and a barracks, or have a subject cu country. Have at least ten discipline. Okay. Uh, over here, Zimbabwe gets the restored capital. Dev cost legitimacy, center trade. Development of the monument city of Kami by one. So. That means I would be smart to push this to two before I take that. Assuming... Colonists available as long as we do not get colonists from an idea. So maybe we don't go expansion first. In that case, depends on how much I want to try to push for these. Development of 20, okay. Eclipse Great Zimbabwe. Foreign dev, own some provinces, and you get surpassing Zimbabwe as an event. Maps of Sofala, trade, construct a trade fleet, ancient maps of Asian trade, War of Africa, contact the Europeans, religious conflict against merchants. This might be how we can convert to a religion, modernize the state, catch up in tech, and institutions get stab, wealth of Aiden. Okay, trade income and some more trade stuff. Oh, that's a good modifier. That's a really good modifier. Okay. Looks like some cool missions. Our vast doesn't have any cool missions, just generic stuff. Uh, with this, we're going to look at that Embrace Singular Cult. That's a lot of influence, and I tend to dislike going the influence route. Craven and Well Connected, so let's not do some combat here. We are going to go ahead and Embrace Singular Cult. Change Cult to Swezzy. Prove relations, tolerance, true faith, or discipline. Okay, do I think we're going to get coalitioned? No. Tolerance, true faith, we'll do the discipline one. That's what I've deemed most likely here. First things first, we're going to do our manpower and don't have crown land. Um, we'll, we'll go with this and we'll just deal with the consequences. Gain access to the sea. So Fala. Fight and kill was going to be rough. Sailors versus getting some prestige. Um, both these rulers are terrible, but we'll go with this one. We'll probably have to dev push the renaissance. In terms of enemies, simple decision. Let's go ahead and finish getting our monthly points. It's going to make us really weak to start, but we'll hopefully be better. Integration policy, don't care. Um, free enterprise.
Don't care for religious diplomats. Okay. Give us some trade power. Let's take a look. We have Clubman and Abyssinian Light Cavalry. What tech are we at? Tech 2. So we're behind. We don't have feudalism. But our neighbors do. Our neighbors do. That means, can I have an ally from our neighbors? Hmm. I might just snag an ally over here. So I want to have somebody to back me against Kilwa. Let's double check this right here. Look at those. Some claims on Shire, Nagonde, Upper Zimbezi, Qualamar, Mozambique. Shire, Nagonde, Mozambique, Kulimine. Okay. That one, Nagonde, Upper Zambezi, Kudumene, is it Makuwana included there? Central Swahili Coast. So it doesn't actually, well, actually it does. Okay, so these guys are who I'm going to kill. Let's look at you. It's in development. You'd ally me. Your nine development. Who are your rivals? Who are your rivals? Okay, we're going to ally these two. Hopefully they make friends with each other. We'll keep our cult the same. And let's think about the economy. We make a lot of money. Thanks to our gold mine. Here. And there. And one in the vassal. Okay, we're going to need to dev these fast and use them to bankroll all of our conquests here. Three, we're going to start doing advisors right away. Do we need a theologian for anything? No. We'll do production efficiency. Um, haven't looked at trade yet, so we'll hold off there and then we'll do discipline. Let's look at trade. We're all in the Sambezi node. We have trade there and a trader here. Okay, so we'll do trade efficiency and try to get a little bit more out of them. We get claims on all of this stuff. So what I want to do with my diplomats. Probably want to try to make friends with somebody up here. Let's make friends with Mombasa. I want him to offer me knowledge sharing. So I can get feudalism and not have to dev push it. All right. But with that, I think we're ready to go. We're going to go speed three to start, just so I can uh, get my bearings. Our ruler is a... We don't have drilling unlocked yet. Great. All right. I don't know what the cadence I'm going to take for these videos is. I don't know if I'm going to go for a... Um, show everything video, or if I'm going to go and cut around... That's all going to be determined in the future based on how I feel about this. How old's your ruler? 19. You can have the royal marriage. Let's grab our second alliance here. You are enemies with them. We'll grab you then. All right. Those are our two allies there. They might be able to help us if Kilwa attacks. Okay. The regression of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was once the greatest third capital of the Zimbabwe Empire, which broke apart due to the Civil War centuries ago. Ever since, the city serves us as a marvelous capital with its many stone houses. But its days are numbered. The crops which ensure the sustenance of this great city have failed. The resources which maintain the city's economy for so long have depleted, and the local unrest has driven away many residents, pushed them into the other provinces of Mutapa. Gained some devastation in Zimbabwe. Abandoned ruins until the end of the game, giving... Oh my god, looks like we're not developing Zimbabwe at all. And Kami gets undeveloped, so we there goes our cost fabricate claims. Should Mutapa ever lose control of Zimbabwe? So the people questioned the authority of the ruler of Mutapa, gained the modifier Desecrated Kingdom, which gives bad stuff. 
And now we have bad stability. Lovely. Don't you at some point give me stab costs for having high? And you wanted to do Manikia? Is there anywhere I can develop that's decent? No. It's all about the same. We have a center trade? You do. Meaning you should be. If I upgrade you, you'd be worth a little bit more. Okay, we're just going to have to make do with what we have. None of you should ally Killua. You should all be independent and vulnerable. Great efficiency. And I think we focus admin. Get our stability up, get our claims, and get to war. Okay. With those relations improved, we're going to start currying favors here. And just kind of chill. We'll run speed four since there's nothing going on in Africa. We'll look around at the world and see what all of these countries are doing. You have allied Anthemoro, which is on Madagascar. Is this a vassal? Overlord? Interesting. You're just there. Okay. I think we go to arms here. Just pay for stab and get our get our fights in. All right. Early war time. So Fala is claiming us. That's fine. Drop our merchant here. Or not merchant diplomat. Need to boost our stab twice. Grab our claims. We have terrible issues with our tax, but it doesn't matter because our money comes from gold. And we can do these choices. I'm okay with this, but I don't think I'm going to go for it. These both give stab cost. Unrest is pretty good. I'll take it. And this counters the stab cost, so we'll, we'll go all of these. And I don't tend to do firearm regiments. It's just not worth it. IMO. I like having money way more. Tick of the month. Get our claims. I didn't get a pop-up for that, strangely, even though I heard the sound. Who did you ally? You allied Buha. Ah, okay. 8k, 4k, and 8k. So I need to win this fast. I have a vassal. We'll sign the vassal to do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't care. Embargo my rivals just for the little power projection I do get. Um, distant war and favors. Shouldn't stop us. We want to get all of this done before Kilwa starts making moves. Okay, easy win there. Let's find that other army and take them out. fight. Now, will you run to the other guy? Or will you just run to your neighbor? Skill 3 and very cheap, but we can't afford skill 3, so we don't do that. He's running down there. That's perfect for us. First of May. Thirteenth of May. Okay. That should do some damage. Alright, we're gonna make you a ruler too. A general, I should say. Um, I need to I'm gonna conserve some manpower here and do this the smart way. Okay, when is this troop going to be done? 21st of June. Oh, the free company. He's getting mercs. We 
use replenishing down there. Swipe out his mercs, though, since he paid for those. Oops. Oh, well. Cool. We're just gonna chill here in loot until our uh, vassal gets his siege. Looks like Puha can't actually reach us. They might not even have us discovered. No, they do. We'll stay here so he can't train troops. There's only 5k troops there, and he's not gonna get any reinforcements, so this won't be an issue. We'll go speed four. And we'll keep improving. Why do we get a claim on Kinga? Interesting. We'll keep on improving with Mombasa. You allied like Kilwa? That's not going to happen. Melindy? Melindy. Comp still looks good. Kilwa declared over there. Unavoidable, sadly. Who did you ally? Who's Bunyoro? Oh god, they're not going to help you. Alright, let's go kill this army. Since I don't think I'm going to worry about... I don't think I'm going to worry about uh, not having cores on those. We'll just take them. Anything else I can do? No. Skill 2 Traitor. Maybe could be worth it, since he's 50% off. Yeah. Let's crush this guy. Bam. What's my acquisition of feudalism coming? If I could take Sofala, it'd be wonderful. He has knowledge sharing, which is why that's working. Unfortunate loan there. Uh, let's march up to Buha, punch him for some money. We can go money, transfer trade power, war reps, and then probably do some other stuff since I'm not going to be fighting him soon. Let's see. We'll do an uh, end rivalry for uh, five prestige. Each prestige matters for that sweet, sweet, uh... It's, none of that really cares. I guess the we're the best modifier we get there is the... Loyalty Equilibrium for our estates. But oh well. Not too much of a biggie there. Is your army. Stone day? You in another war? Excuse me? Question is, do I care more about the prestige here or the... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just siege it. Sign my heir to go and do that. One, two, three, four. Take the heir. We'll siege pip and go siege. Uh, we're not going to give our enemy access. That would be silly. You would join my war. All right, that's probably enough favors for now with you two. I don't see myself needing you in any wars. We'll improve with our vassal. Who already loves us. Why do they love us? In war together, I guess, which is great. Do we have cores on them? We do not. It's not like a Byzantium situation. They'd accept full annexation, but I want to punch you for those 45 ducats. And wars option. Diplo rep, tolerance of heathens. Interesting. So our we actually are tolerant of Sunni. We have no 
Hmm. What are ideas, by the way? Did not look at those. Yearly inflation reduction. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Um... 10% goods produced, that's awesome. Development cost 10%, pretty sick. Discipline, stab cost. Masi Manos. Uh, we will not lose stab here. Stab cost, fort maintenance, legitimacy, national trade, trade efficiency. A lot of trade ideas. Not too much military power going on here. I just got finished improving relations with you, and you don't love me. I wonder if this will get me closer to your borders. Got this. Infantry cost, yearly armor Christian regiment cost. Not useful right now. Um, I think we sit on the war exhaustion. Probably will fight these rebels. Still make a ducat a month. Pate. Is it Pate or Melindy that I was looking at? It's Melindy. I think we could maybe get Pate on our side here. Friendly with you. This, if, if they end up offering us knowledge sharing, this whole process is worth it. Now you won't, because you allied Kilwa. Oh, that's still the wrong one. Silly me. Kazambi. Um, we'll offer you our royal marriages instead. Ability state is influenced. All that is fine. Wait till would do some stuff with them. Why does Sofala have so many men? I need you to get rid of your vassal here. It's kind of wild. Let's think about this. Pate, 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 pate. You're Ibadi. Did not know you started as it, buddy. Get us a new mission. Vassalize Makua. They're not going to exist. Gain access to the sea or increase the base tash in Manyaki. Would rather it be... What happens if they don't exist? That's my question. Yeah, we just get the bonuses without having to actually worry about anything here. Okay. Your ally's dead. This is not a worrisome amount of unrest. You don't have cores in any of this stuff, do you? You have claims, but not cores. Wait, iron and cloth. Conquistador. Oh my god, that air is so good. Live, damn you! Take our discipline cults. And I didn't end up uh, losing staff or having him in the army. I guess because he wasn't drilling. So Fala, how's our rebels looking here? They will pop up. We'll go and do rebel suppression right now. Thing uh, pattern they took here. Are you part of the area that I got? Name's on. Is that why you are part of the Gonde?
gonna colonize this at some point. How fast do I get that? I have to restore Zimbabwe. 20 dev in this place. So I have to get this damn thing to 20 dev without? With this modifier? With that god-awful modifier? Cost 85 for one point. Compare that to like a normal... Yeah, that's twice... Oh. All right, once we'll do it once we get prosperity in the state. Friendly. Maybe these guys actually accept vassalization here. That'd be interesting. Let's get our real marriage with you. We can go ahead and stop doing that. 54 is when we can normally annex them. Start those claims. We'll do our war here. That nah, should be a problem. Recall with Pop Day. Damn. Ah, there you go. Mombasa will do it. Offer me knowledge sharing. Unless I'm not in trade range. Those could be an issue. Those, that's 7k troops for them to fight. We'll assign good old Vassal to take that wonderful Jim's province. These are all very valuable trade goods. Not a single one of these provinces is bad. Yeah, we're going to need to fight Killa, and we want to fight Killa when we get somewhere close to having equilibrium with him, tech-wise. Uh, we do not want to lose some Sunni. We don't want to become Sunni. Unlock the Cult Islam. And fire damage. We're going to leave two troops here. And we march up here to get some money. We'll marry you. We're going to curry favors and maybe use you against Kilwa, who is your ally, so probably not going to use you against Kilwa. At least until Kilwa annexes Sofala. The rebels don't like us marching through here. They're going to cost most of our manpower. Not the Kilwa. We don't want to do that with Kilwa. Base tax in which one? Masapa. It's actually not a bad idea. That's the gold mine province. I have five churches. You get a stability. Own Batua. Get some mercs. Three gold provinces with development. So we're just going to sit here for a little bit. How much men do you have? You have 7k? Yeah, we just lost most of our men marching up here. How's our prosperity looking? Not there yet. Separatists down here do anything. No, they're just sitting sitting there doing nothing. Is it worth? No, oh, it's worth. Just think about the curiosity here, fighting 4,000 natives the whole way through, especially in mountains. No, thank you. Mombasa has quite the army. With Mombasa's help, I think I could take Kilwa. To not suicide there. The Shire, we're going to core these. They are good trade provinces. They're like almost my accepted culture anyway, so... I'm gonna wait 
on some of these though. Beautiful, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. That'll get us our, colon our wonderful feudalism. And then I will dev push colonialism. Or renaissance. Oops, it's already spawned in Venezia. Good, good, good. Let me wait. I'm not going to take a fight when I have less men than them. As a vassal starts fucking fabricating cores on us. Now, the hard thing here with going the dev push strategy that I'm doing um, before taking tech is that if these guys get a good lead on us with mill tech, they're going to want to declare. Funny thing, have you actually embraced feudalism? You have not. So I can sell you feudalism if you make enough money, which is a big question mark. Good, he fucked off. I think I don't want to take your trade power. Yeah, you don't even steer trade to us, so I just want... Well, I guess you do. Uh, we'll war reps. We'll do it. Now that I'm no longer in the Badlands, I'll actually get my stuff up faster. As I raid his coffers. boo -ha. That gives me a colonist, but I need to restore Zimbabwe before I do that. I think we dev push Zimbabwe and just take the hit there. Hopefully I'll have some kind of... Titi and Kalunga? Yes, always. Not a mountain province, right? Yeah, it's the river crossing. We have better... Yeah, it's good. Bam! There, put you there after tick of the month. It's rendered. I want this stuff though. We'll take the war exhaustion because I'm not going to fight anybody after this. Okay, 54. You could theoretically start annexing people, just like I could annex them. We could theoretically get tech. But I'm waiting for us to embrace feudalism. Corruption, fun. Get rid of that. Well, it's somewhat cheap. That's an issue. We don't transfer trade power here. I have nothing better to do than fight rebels. This is fine. That sucks. There's R A Tad costly. Right, there's that siege. Peace us out. Black flag. March back. Without fighting rebels. War exhaustion, but it'll tick down. There's our second rebel pop. I keep losing this. Damn. Let us annex our vassal. Okay, cool. 
close. Can get them to attack us. This is dry lands, not too bad. And it's an emporium. Yeah, that could be a, a death push for colonialism right there. Unless they have other gold provinces I'm ignoring. Yeah, rebels taken care of. Getting feudalism in my provinces. Save up demand. Yeah, we're good. We're chilling. We are chilling. And now we just have to sit on these. That will actually probably boost my force limit. This is already a state of territory. Cool. How's our... Oh, we'll get... it's going really slow. One base tax in Manika. Sure. I don't care if I'm in your debt. Do I have the full modifier here? I do. And I can push this. Skill 2 Natural Sciences will take the Monarch Points. Yeah, extra ducat. We can't afford it right now. Though I will hit this stuff soon. Now we're chilling and waiting. Let's think about what we want to do ideal-wise. We're going to want to colonize, so probably expansion and exploration. We're going to go hard into the col colonialism line of thought. One good year of tax versus having 11 ducats, I'll take the flat cost. Um, that's a given. This is an actual fort. I did not know this was actually a full fort here. And that's a gold mine province. Okay, so we now have forts over all of these. Which makes it interesting that I got a mission to build a fort in Masapa. I'm still going to do it, but it makes it less valuable. Am I ever forced on it? I am, indeed. Let us cut the calf. Two over or one over? It's two over. Cut the calf. Do I have... I'm probably getting a lot of autonomy because of my uh, crown situation, my crown land situation. That'll go away now, though. I'll start ticking down. Good. Okay. What's my next play here? Hmm. Are you going to annex your vassal? I hope you do. They're not a march. Got relations with you. I think that's what we do. We just we're gonna start currying favors. And our, our net we're planning to do some debt pushing once we get this this estate. Yeah. That's all we can do. Feudalism has appeared. I've still got some way to spread before I actually spend the whole money on it. And there's no rush to that, so we're going to hold off there. Um, I think I'm going to do these advisory councils here. Got the monopolies to start running. That's good. I think that might be really good for us to do right now. The way we can test Europeans is by using our good power here. Local autonomy chain. Shen... Shengwei? Shengui? Shengwa? Uh, diplomatic advisor cost. Let's double check all this stuff. Alright, eventually we're gonna want those land rights stuff. Okay. Then we don't have any more monopolies to do. Good. Good, good, good. Congo's being big. They'll probably be a opponent for me. Cool. 
wait. Yeah, just think about it. We, we get it in Zimbabwe and Buhera. Seven dollars. Yeah, that's... It's not like a crazy amount, but it's still noticeable to actually deal with. So that's what we'll go for. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. I don't know if I'm going to actually be doing a... Uh, Several episodes of this, or depending on how fast I get this achievement done, if I'm going to be uh, editing it down and making it more concise. But regardless, if this is an episode, we're going to stop this one here. And if it's not, you're never going to see this, so who cares? But anyway, I've been Sean. This is the Blue Screener channel, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Later.